Hey guys, Stuart Lucas here. I'm one of the hydrographic surveyors for CMAP. We've been creating the Precision Contour HD maps. You've probably been hearing a lot about how the pros have been using custom color shading to set up their maps to break down lakes and run their patterns a lot faster. I can't remember the last time mapping like this has helped me so much running a pattern. My CMAP chip really came into play for me this week. I would take the Lowrance CMAP and I would just run in there and about every one I stopped in I caught a four pounder this afternoon. I'd have a CMAP and I'm able to color contour lines and that's the key to have continued success. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit menu, more options, chart options. You'll scroll down to shading. You'll hit custom. So you'll probably set it up on depth one, but as you can see, I already have something set up. So we'll go to depth two and I'll show you just how to set this up. The first one, you'll set it up like I did at red. You'll go to five feet. And I usually use this for shallow water so I know not to run over something. None of these numbers are set in stone, so if you want a specific color at a specific depth, you can select any depth range that you would like to select for that color. You can shade it to any color that you want to. I like to do the dark water in green. Pink is five foot or less. For me, I used red for about zero to six feet. Change the shadings of the depths. Five foot or less and then red. Then I do it like in five foot increments, you know, from there after. I like to set my depth ranges up at increments of five. When you go from zero to five, it red will stop at five and whatever color you select next will start at six and go to wherever you start the next color. So I'll do five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, out to probably about 45, and then everything over 50 or 60 feet, I'll do it white. And I like to do that because it's a great way to set it up when you're exploring the lake before you find your pattern and everything. Once you find your pattern, you can use your other depth palette and set it up as the depth ranges in which you're catching the fish. This for me is going to be a game changer. Zooming out, looking at a place I've never been and saying, you know what, look at that contour. That matches what I've been doing. It's an inside turn, it's an outside turn. It's in seven feet, it's in eight feet. That specific. It really has blown me away, my, my first impression of it. That's awesome. This is this is legit. Those real tight contours. Now with the new C map, you're gonna be able to pinpoint exactly where they are. So the next color I'm gonna do will be orange. And I'm gonna set it at 10 feet. The next color I will set it yellow. And it will be at 15 feet. The next color I like to skip the white and go to one of these two blues. So usually I select this blue and I'll do 20. And then I'll go to the blue that's next darkest from it, and I'll do 25, and I'll do 30, which is a little bit darker blue. And then I'll go over it, and I'll do 40 at the very darkest blue. And then I'll go to my deepest depth range, which I don't think I'm gonna fish out past anymore, and I'll set it as white. So we're gonna say it's 50. And what this is gonna look like on the map, and we'll show you here, you go back to your home menu. So you go to more options, chart options, scroll down to shading and select depth two. And as you can see, it really makes these features pop and stand out a whole lot more. The points and the more dangerous features in the lake that you could possibly tear your boat up on when you're running down the lake and it makes it really easy to zoom out and you know, move down the lake and find different areas that stick out and just look really fishy, like this point here. So look at where we're sitting right now. You can see there's a couple different points right here that's within almost a cast of the boat, and it really makes these features stand out, so it makes it a lot easier figuring out where these fish are set up, and it, and it helps you zone in a lot faster than it would if you were just running standard depth shading colors. Just makes navigation a lot easier, a lot safer, and um, helps you find those key spots that can make you a better, more productive fisherman. It, it's really, really good. Be sure to check it out. It's gonna help you catch more fish. It's gonna help you dial in the pattern. Thank you, Lawrence, for, for doing that for all of us fishermen.